So Mindy, I'm, I'm pleased to introduce her as from CAST. She's an instructional designer, and she's also a social media guru. Now, this morning when I walked into the office, I have to give you this visual so that when she's up here, you can put the hat on. So she has this Harry Potter humongous hat, okay? And her Twitter, there it is. There's the hat right there. Okay. So her Twitter feed, I, I don't want to get this wrong, is Twitter Boss Witch. And you can follow her. Social media expert, UDL guru, and communications guru from CAST. She's going to come up and talk to us right now. Mindy, thank you so much. I feel like I have to hit my mark, right? I'm in the right spot. By the way, you all look very different from up here than you do from down there. <laughs> Oops. There we go. All right. So today I'm going to talk to you about sharing. I share a lot. So if you follow me on Twitter, or if you follow me on Facebook, or if you follow me on Google+, or if you follow me on LinkedIn, or if you follow me on Instagram, I'm also on Snapchat, but I've never actually published anything yet, you know that I share a lot. It's one of my favorite things to do. I also share what you all are doing. I share your stories, your photos of your classrooms, your questions, the articles you share. And what I want to talk to you about today is how we need to share more. And we need more people to share. But first, I'm going to talk about rock stars. So I have a tiny confession to make. <laughs> I actually was a rock star. I was the drummer for a faculty band when I was a teacher. This is, the, the guy with the guitar is our English teacher. The guy, like, kind of standing really rock and roll, that's our principal. <laughs> the guy leaning against the, like, really kind of Bon Jovi, he's our uh, history teacher. We had math teachers, ELL teachers. I was a special education teacher. Um, just a ton of different teachers coming together, right, to, do, to, to play rock and roll. And we played at school gatherings and functions. We were at East Chapel Hill High School. Our mascot was the Wildcat, so we named ourselves Litterbox. <laughs> but that's actually a misspelling. Litterbox is actually spelled like that. Because that feels more rock and roll, right? There's something about it that feels rock and roll. So what is it about that that feels so rock and roll? And I would say the same thing about UDL rock stars. Now, when we think about UDL rock stars, we think of this. <laughs> but we're universal design for learning, and we have that edge. And what I'd like to propose is it's actually the context that matters. And actually, this interaction is where UDL rock stars live. So this interaction, and John, I'm going to call you out. So John Mundorf tweeted out this image with David Rose and Lady Gaga, had the hashtag, born this way, UDL chat. David Rose tweeted back and said, it's hard to tell me and Lady Gaga apart in the pictures, which is fine, but my makeup needs an upgrade. <laughs> and then John Mundorf tweeted back to him and said, should have used image descriptions, right, Mindy J? You can actually add image descriptions to your tweets if you don't know that. And if you're following me on Twitter right now, you will know that. <laughs> That's a UDL rock star interaction. It's bringing all of these sorts of different concepts and ideas together and synthesizing them in a way that's humorous, it's funny. It doesn't have to be funny like that. That one is. But we need to be incorporating more perspectives and more ideas in what we share. So we have some mean tweets in UDL. I'm going to have you brace yourselves. I'm going to read a couple to you. 
and then we're going to process. Getting extremely sick of writing these UDL lesson plans. UDL lesson plans, hate them, hashtag useless, hashtag annoying. How do I draw how stupid UDL is? That's the rub with current UDL research, very hard for researchers to define what is and what is not UDL. UDL has many problems, biggest of which it masks structural issues that keep access as other. They're mean, right? But this is actually my favorite. <laughs> how do I draw how stupid UDL is? Because they understand the concept of multiple means of representation. <laughs> Right? You've got to start with people where they are. <laughs> so there's also articles like these that really, like that tweet, only scratch the surface of what UDL can be. And that's part of the problem, is that we're not able to make these connections with people that, so that they can understand what UDL really, really, really is. Right? It makes us sad. But I'd like to reframe that sadness. I'd like us to think about those mean tweets, those mean articles, and the entire world is our classroom of learners. And our goal is to make them UDL rock stars too. We need to invite people in. So this is Malcolm Gladwell. I'll give you an example. This is Malcolm Gladwell. I'm sure you've heard of him. He's a popular author, journalist. Um, writes for the New Yorker magazine, has all this great stuff, has all these great quotes about how you know, he's really good at taking a complex subject and translating it into plain language, everyday language, popular language, so that people can understand it. And he's worried that things are getting tra trapped in academia. You would think that something like this he wrote for one of his articles in the New Yorker, one of his books, maybe said it on his podcast. This is actually a quote from an article in the Costco Connection magazine. <laughs> He's found a way to find a new audience for his message. That's a rock star. Rock stars are always finding new audiences. And he's mastered the culture of sharing. And that's what we, we need to belong to the culture of sharing. It's not new. We've been sharing since we could draw pictures on walls. The tools have changed, but the message hasn't. So let me give you another example of maybe the digital age sharing, culture of sharing. This is Dr. Ruha Benjamin. She's an associate professor at Princeton. She was the, one of the keynote speakers at the ISTE conference uh, last summer that I attended. Um, and she was amazing. She talked about all sorts of things, um, to bias in technology based on race, gender, culture. It was really, really interesting. And one of the ways that I engage when I go to a conference is that I tweet. So I tweeted this quote that she said, and I just, you know, I just kind of sat there, and I tagged her, right? I used her handle, her Twitter handle. She liked it. She hit that little heart button, and she liked it. So I had to tweet, I took a screenshot of the like, and I tweeted about it. And I tagged her again, she liked it again, which was like. <laughs> By the way, this is, it says another nerdgasm. The first one was because R2-D2 and LeVar Burton were on the stage at the same time. I mean, seriously, <laughs> seriously. But just that little, just that little interaction made me understand that she was listening. Right? There were thousands of tweets. If you follow the ISTE hashtags, there's thousands of tweets during that conference. But she was listening. And some of you are really good at this already. But we need to be better listeners. We need to be better listener, digital listeners. So this is, digital, this is the digital participation pyramid. It's a, it's a theory that 90% of the people on social media are lurkers. 
That's not creepy in social media. It's creepy in real life, but it's not creepy on social media. 9% are editors or critics, and 1% are creators. So that means 90% of us <laughs> are doing this. But I'd like to pose to us that in order for us to be UDL rock stars, we need to be better listeners. We need to listen like UDL rock stars. We need to show people that we are listening. We can't just sit back and say, yep, I'm listening, I'm nodding my head, I'm understanding. You actually have to take an action. You can retweet. You can share something on Facebook or LinkedIn or wh whatever you choose. You can like something. You can plus one it. Anything like that. Just let somebody know that you're listening. You can follow somebody that you find interesting, that you, that you, that's new to you, that you like their ideas. There are even research studies that show that you get a little squirt of dopamine when somebody likes something that you do on social media. So we need to be better listeners. So if you're in the 90%, that's how you be a better listener. If you're in the 9%, editors and critics, how you amplify like a UDL rock star is you quote. So if you know how to quote a tweet, you actually have the tweet in the, the, the tweet that you're sending out, you have a little commentary, a little that's awesome. Or you know what, how about you think about it this way? You comment, you ask a question. You reply to somebody's question. You go to UDL chat, which is the first and third Wednesdays of the month on Twitter. Yeah. And if you're not sure how to do that, come find me, I'll show you. But also, the pyramid, right? If you're in the 9%, you can't stop listening. You have to listen and amplify. It's not one or the other. And if you're in the 1%, this is when UDL really takes off in social media. Because we have so many ways that we can share and we can bring in new ideas, use new hashtags, find somebody out there that's not do it, that has nothing to do with universal design for learning and bring it into the conversation. Like John Mundorf did with his born this way hashtag. I'm sure that there were a couple of people out there that were like, what's this UDL thing? And then they found out more. Some of you might be in this room, I don't, I'm not sure. But express yourself in multiple ways. Take action, be action oriented. Really make an effort to put new ideas out there, simplify ideas. Engage with everybody that's out there, even when there's those mean tweeters, those reluctant learners. Employ yes and, not no but. Yes and, that's a great idea. And let's look at this other thing. Or you know what, that's awesome, but what if you thought about it this way? We don't want to alienate anybody because we want UDL to spread. We want it to grow, go viral. We're, good, we're, we're really good at saying that we like to party with the outliers. I want us to party with the outliers, the UDL outliers. Right? By the way, this is Research Mark. Research Mark Wahlberg. Follow him, it's awesome. <laughs> it doesn't have to be social media, but it does have to be social. You don't have to choose a tool. Choose where you're comfortable. But we have to get out of the, the habit of talking to each other and we need to talk to other people. This is like UDL summer camp to us, right? We always say that. It's like, this is my tribe. You are 400 of my closest friends because I can walk up to any one of you and say UDL and you're like, yep, I got it. 
That's for me. But those are easy conversations. Those are comfortable conversations. And we do, it's not that we don't want to have those, but we do want to have more conversations with people that may be in our outliers. Because you are a UDL rock star. You are a UDL rock star. So share like a UDL rock star. Thank you.